hi guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing well as you already know that i am making videos on passing strategies tricks you can see that and tips for the vtu students especially for the vtu engineering students okay so a quick update i want to share with you guys is from now onwards i am going to upload problem solving videos as uh, most of the important questions i will take it over here and i want to try to solve uh, over here as far as the examination point of view is concerned over here so whether that uh, are the mathematical derivations or some sort of theory portion my dear friends so uh, as examinations are already near you know that uh, for the fourth sem and second sem students so uh, the questions that are frequently asked and uh, which are somehow difficult to tackle over there so i'm gonna make it uh, cake walk for you you know that uh, so uh, in this video let's start without wasting a time so I have chosen the most important question that is the cauchy riemann equation in Cartesian form there are two equations especially one is the polar form and another is uh, this Cartesian form almost in every examination which you is asking this question so my dear friends first of all uh, look at the statement of this uh, particular equation that is a necessary condition that a complex valued function you know already what is the complex functions as you are you may be aware from the as far as the 12th class is concerned these are the same concepts over here so uh, i didn't have to deal with the complex functions over here so i have to just focus on uh, this particular equation that is the cauchy riemann equation so a necessary condition that a complex valued function that is w is equal to f of z is equal to u of x comma y these are just the coordinates as as already in the title that is the Cartesian form Cartesian form means that is the XY coordinate over here another one is polar coordinate that is theta or R may be there so this is the Cartesian form so u of x comma y plus iv x comma y so as you know in the complex numbers there are two one is the real number and imaginary number imaginary part and real part so this is the uh, real part and this is imaginary part okay so uh, it uh, statement says that this function is analytic so and also you should know that what is the analytic function over there so my dear friends analytic means uh, whatever the function may be if it is analytic that means it is differentiable over there so at the complex variable z is equal to x plus i y then the first four first order partial derivatives that is dou u by dou x comma dou u by dou y dou v by dou x comma dou v by dou y can satisfy the following so this uh, equation should must satisfy this condition that is dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and dou v by dou x is equal to minus dou u by dou y so let's uh, start its proof how we can derive it uh, how this particular equation over here so first of all friends uh, we have given data that is given w is equal to f of z which is equal to u of x comma y plus i of v x comma y okay so uh, it means that if uh, this function is analytic it is given now it is given it is analytic analytic means uh, that is it is differentiable okay so w is equal to f of z is differentiable differentiable okay so as already variable is given that is z is equal to x plus i y it is given in this statement okay so z is equal to x of uh, x plus i y i will put this uh, z value in th this particular function over here so w is equal to f of x plus i y which is equal to u of x comma y plus i v x comma y okay so i will put it as equation first uh, over here okay so then differentiate this particular equation partially with respect to x first uh, we will uh, differentiate it uh, with respect to x then we will go for the uh, y also so let me differentiate it with respect to x differentiate first equation first partially with respect to x okay so it will become f dash of x plus i y which is equal to dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou y okay so if i uh, further differentiate it as we are uh, differentiating it partially so this is f dash of x plus i y into internal differentiation of this term that is dou by dou x of x plus i y okay which is equal to dou u by dou x sorry this is also we are uh, differentiating with respect to x okay so dou u by dou x uh, that is uh, plus i dou v by dou x over here so f dash of x plus i y 
into differentiation of x with respect to x that is equal to 1 okay so which is equal to 1 over here and also uh, this term if we differentiate i y term as uh, there is the absence of x over here then it is differentiation will be 0 so no need to write it over here which is equal to dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x okay so it will become f dash of this term when you multiply it by 1 it will become same term f dash of x plus uh, i y as you already know x plus i y is equal to z i can write it as f of f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x so i will put it as uh, second equation over here okay <clears throat> then differentiate differentiate partially uh, equation first equation first partially with respect to y now okay now we are differentiating with respect to y this uh, particular first equation okay so it will become f dash of x plus i y into internal differentiation with respect to y x plus i y which is equal to dou u by dou y plus i dou v by dou y okay so if i differentiate it it will become f dash of x plus i y into differentiation of uh, x with respect to y it will become zero as there is the absence of y okay so it will become zero uh, then uh, plus i y this term uh, as i is there with the y differentiation of y uh, with respect to y that is one one into i is i okay which is equal to dou u by dou y plus i dou v by dou y okay so it will become f dash of x plus i y this i i will transpose it to the right hand side this right hand side okay that will become dou u by dou y into i plus i dou v by dou y uh, into i that is i have transposed this i to the whole term of the right hand side okay so it will become now f dash of x plus i y which is equal to this i and i gets cancelled dou u by i dou y plus uh, dou v by dou y so uh, now onwards i will make an extra step over here i will divide uh, this term by i and multiply this term by i so there uh, doesn't change the state uh, there the term doesn't change it over here okay so i will just write f dash of x plus i y which is equal to i into dou u by dou y and already i was there and i am uh, dividing i also over here that it becomes i square okay so plus dou v by dou y okay so it will become f dash of x plus i y which is equal to this i square you already know the value of i square is equal to minus 1 so i will put it uh, it here that becomes minus times i dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou y i will put it as third equation over here so if we compare also i can write it as f dash of this uh, x plus i y is equal to z already in the statement okay so f dash of z is equal to minus times i dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou y okay this will become fourth equation now compare second and fourth this is the second equation also f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou y also f dash of z is equal to minus times i dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou y okay so by comparing by comparing second and fourth equation fourth equation we get that is second equation if f dash of left hand side f dash of z f dash of uh, z so left hand side is already equal okay so i can write as uh, right hand sides are also equal so dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x which is equal to minus times i dou u by dou y plus dou v by dou y okay if i will uh, compare it on the basis of the positional identity okay so it will become dou u by dou x is equal to minus times i dou uh, sorry uh, this uh, i will interchange firstly i will interchange this term okay i will bring it as here so let me do that D dou u by dou x uh, plus i dou v by dou x is equal to this uh, dou v by dou y minus times i dou u by dou y now i can compare these uh, on the basis of their positional identity as imaginary parts are different okay real parts are different so real parts are equal and imaginary parts are equal so dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and this term that is i dou v by dou x is equal to minus times i dou u by 
dou y okay so this i and i gets cancelled it will become dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and dou v by dou x is equal to minus times dou u by dou y so this was the statement to which we were supposed to prove it over here as you can see in the statement dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and also dou uh, v by dou x is equal to minus times dou u by dou y so dou v by dou x is equal to minus times dou u by dou y so this was the uh, little bit proof over here let me just recap it firstly what i did in the uh, these particular steps okay so my dear friends first of all this was given uh, w is equal to f of z is equal to u of x comma y plus i v x comma y is analytic so it is it means it is differentiable firstly i differentiate uh, first equation with respect to x uh, so i get it uh, that f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x this uh, this becomes second equation over here then i differentiate the first equation uh, partially with respect to y then i get the uh, term accordingly that is f dash of z is equal to minus times i dou v by dou y plus dou v by dou y okay so this is fourth equation then i compare uh, these two uh, second and fourth equation okay this one second and fourth equation left hand side is were equal that is f dash of z f dash of z okay then we can see right hand sides are also equal so i compare uh, compared it and then i interchange these these two terms over here then i can uh, simply compare it uh, with the real uh, parts and imaginary parts okay so then dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and this uh, i dou v by dou x is equal to minus times i dou u by dou y so this was the little bit recap of this problem so thanks for watching my video my dear friends